So for this video, it might seem a bit weird because I actually decided to do this video unscripted. So if you enjoy this more, let me know in the comments and let's get into the video. Some logos are very recognisable like Coca-Cola, Google and FedEx, which you could probably recognise at any time and it's hard to deny that they are very, very nice logos, creative and definitely professional. However, today we are counting 20 inappropriate logo designs. Instituto de Estudos Orientias is a very, very, very weird logo and it looks like some sort of sexual axe but if you actually look into it it's actually the sun setting over a building it's hard to see why they would choose this as a logo as it's quite obvious what it looks like but what probably happened is the artist thought uh, it does look quite dodgy but I've already gone this far so I might as well continue the project and this is the end result it's very weird to look at and it's quite funny in most situations so I'm pretty sure the artist for this next logo was actually intending for it to be a little bit inappropriate. This antenna was having a little too much fun with himself as he seems to be erect, standing up on some sort of, I don't, I don't know what, the, what situation this would be used in, it's just plain weird and it definitely grabs people's attention, that's probably what it's for. Anyway, that's just very very strange and the artist definitely had that intention in mind. The Arlington Pediatric Centre, it's not what it looks like, we, we promise. So this logo actually is meant to be adults helping children, but it just seems like something that should not be legal in any way, shape or form. What's actually weird is it gives off the negative and the exact opposite vibe of what it's meant to be given out, and it's definitely not a good logo design. So this next logo is actually very ironic, safe place. Now it seems like this white figure is giving the black figure a hug or what, that's what it's meant to look like but it actually just looks like another person kidnapping some sort of kid. Seeing as the white figure is a lot bigger than the black figure as well, it looks like someone is being kidnapped and it does not give off a very, very nice feeling. Especially as there's no facial expression so you can't see if the person's happy or sad. It just wasn't very good as a logo design. Have you ever thought to yourself, my teeth are hurting, I need to go to the Clinica Dentale? Or have you ever thought, hmm, I could hire a prostitute, I'm going to go to the Clinica Dentale? Yes, that is definitely the vibe that this logo definitely brings on. This design was actually made in the Philippines and is actually a logo for a dentist. But you might think the opposite when you look at the logo itself. So when you first look at this logo, you might think it looks pretty innocent enough just a man and a woman dancing as you would in a dance club but when you really focus at the image and sort of think outside the box it does look like a woman with her breasts out it's actually very very artistic and it's probably what the artist was going for to catch a lot of people's attention even though dance clubs can consist of children which is pretty much just really weird but anyway it is a very strange logo design Mao Am, as you probably know, is a suite that can be bought in most corner shops, in the UK at least. I'm not sure if they are in other countries, but it just this logo itself is very weird. It's not the most popular flavour, but it just looks like the avocado, or whatever that is, is having a little bit too much fun with that lemon, and the lemon seems to be enjoying it a little bit too much. Seeing this is a child's friendly suite, it's a bit weird to see that this was actually given out to children and it just gives off a bit of a creepy vibe in my opinion. Okay, so here is the 2012 Olympic logo. You might be thinking it's a bit strange, we've seen it about a billion times before, what could be possibly wrong with this apart from it being a very controversial logo because of the way it looks and how unique it is I could say. But when we add this cheeky little fella on the top, you can see that it becomes a whole different story and it looks like some sort of sexual act is going on once again. It's weird how a lot of these just logos that just have these inside of them, it's just creepy and seeing as the whole world has seen this logo, it's definitely controversial. So this next logo, as you can see, spells out locum but it's pretty self-explanatory what it actually says and what a lot of people actually think it is. And it's pretty obvious to say that the artist Definitely knew what he was doing with this actual logo. I'm not sure if it's real or not, but it's definitely, definitely one of the most inappropriate logos in the world. The Kudwara Pharmacy is probably just a normal pharmacy that sells pharmaceutical goods like paracetamol and everything else that you'd usually get if you had an illness. 
But the logo isn't one of the best in the world as it looks like the K is fornicating with itself and probably left a lot of pharmacy goers quite confused. The Lalaya Massage Studio looks like a normal massage studio until you actually have a close look at the logo which looks like a female body part that most people won't be very intrigued by when they are looking for a massage. It's just blatantly obvious what it's meant to be and these artists definitely had a dirty mind when they were designing these logos. The Computer Doctors is probably a place where you probably get your computers, your mouses, everything to do with computing devices repaired, fixed or you can probably buy some gadgets. However this logo definitely sends a different message and might have sent a few prostitutes to this area. I'm not even too sure because of the logo as you can see the mouse which replaces the U in computer definitely definitely looks like the male genital area which is not appealing at all and I'm not sure if they've even noticed this themselves because if I did I'd change it on the first day. So this logo is probably some sort of restaurant or something I'm not sure what the restaurant's actually called but if you look at this very very carefully it looks like two balls and a penis made out of the chef and the hat and I picked this one because I don't think it's been covered too much but it's just really 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 weird and I think they definitely knew what they were doing when they were designing this logo so the Pontins logo is actually one that you might not have noticed before and it's actually like a amusement park sort of area for England it's not amazing and it's quite run down but if you look at it in detail the T on the end does have this little shape I'm not sure why but it looks like a paedophile made it because there is some sort of discharge coming out of the end of the T and I'm not sure what that is. It definitely looks like a penis. What do you think? The Islamic Understanding Institute is definitely, definitely a weird logo. As you could probably tell straight from looking at this logo, it does look like a huge pair of tits. But if you actually look past it, it's meant to be two buildings and you could also say that the building on the left also looks like a penis but tell me again what you think in the comments and tell me also what the weirdest logo on this list is A style is... I don't know what A style is but the logo is definitely definitely weird and should not be appropriate for any situation as you can see it is A, it is just the letter A but the two heads at the left make it look like two people having sex and it is very very strange why would someone come up with this logo is it real there's just too many questions too many unanswered questions we should probably go there and protest against this logo well I would but I'm, I'm just too lazy to be honest so this next one is for Doughboys and the D and the B combination makes it once again look like a penis and balls but what can you do I mean it's very plain it's very immature and I wouldn't put this if I was making a company and if I was making a restaurant I wouldn't make this my logo especially with the discharge at the top what is that seriously what why why is that why is that on top of there what is that meant to be just no so the next logo is called the Academy of Dance Arts and this would look innocent at first it looks like the girl is just gliding through the air her leg raised in the air like a normal dance routine but her left hand I think looks more like a penis and she looks like a transvestite from this angle don't judge me for saying that but you all had it coming and it also sort of looks like she could be facing the other way around and it's a karate competition and he's also just uh, there's too many things you could say about this Dirty Bird by the name you could probably tell the owners of this restaurant have a very weird sense of humour as their logo does look like an erect penis but is it is it yeah that is definitely what it's meant to be yes because no chicken let's be honest looks like that and the name with dirty bird just shows that this restaurant is a bit weird if there's one logo on this list that could get away with saying that it's actually meant to be an innocent logo it's OGC because if you turn it in a direction where this happens then it does look like a man is actually wanking himself off but they could probably get away with this because it's actually quite hard to spot unless you know what you're looking for and when they noticed it I bet they had a bit of a chuckle to themselves as did I. Thanks for watching this list, if you did enjoy it you can like and subscribe for more videos in the future. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Comment down below what I should do next, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.